Chairman, distinguished guests, residents of the city of Berkeley. In honoring a custom as old as government itself, it is my pleasant task to share with the residents of Berkeley an accounting of the accomplishments and the challenges of the past year and to describe the current state of our city. To begin, I inherited from Mayor Stephan a vibrant, stable, and well-run city. I take this opportunity to thank her for her years of passionate leadership, her continuing wise counsel, and her enduring friendship. <laughs> the city of Berkeley is blessed with wonderful assets. We have friendly neighborhoods along tree-lined streets, a walkable downtown, wonderful restaurants, and a frontage on one of America's most distinguished byways. But our greatest, greatest asset remains the character of our people. Their personal pride in their hometown is exceptional. We glimpse it through the extensive groups of volunteers that serve the many community commissions and boards and neighborhood organizations, and they do so with generosity and great energy. We saw it most powerfully several weeks ago when 70% of our voters chose to invest in our city to protect the services they value and to leverage our assets to further enhance the quality of our life. This signals great commitment to our city and confidence in its future. As mayor, I am inspired by this passion, thankful for their sacrifice, and proud of our shared values. These new funds will be used to replace what was lost through state-shared revenue cuts and property tax declines. It will help us repair part of the infrastructure that had to be deferred and will allow us to replace worn out equipment. The business community too invested heavily in our city in the past year. Along Woodward Avenue, Chris Bellies and Vincetta Garage have opened thriving restaurants. Their respective success raised parking challenges that are being resolved. <laughs> in the heart of the Coolidge Collection is the new Atomic Dog Restaurant. Now this area of our town is experiencing renewed energy and increased foot traffic. Across from La Salette on Coolidge Highway, the SHW Architectural Group is expanding its footprint, hiring 25% more employees and investing heavily in Berkeley. Countless other businesses have refurbished their premises, are maintaining beautiful floral arrangements, and contributing to the aesthetic beauty of our town. Such businesses set a standard that others are encouraged to emulate. The centerpiece of this year's accomplishments is the completion of the 12-mile Coolidge intersection. This venture was necessary to undertake, was finished on time, and completed on the budget. The city administration worked in cooperation with the DDA to make this possible. The finished product has been given widespread praise by our residents, and this makes the occasional hiccup in the preparation, planning, and execution of the project all worthwhile. I want to extend, however, my gratitude to the adjacent businesses that were inconvenienced while this project was being undertaken. Now, you will find in your car a dash that will have a speedometer, a gas gauge, an oil pressure gauge, 
among other instruments, to keep you informed about the functioning of your vehicle. So too, the city has a dashboard. Our dashboard is designed to, preserve, to uh, provide information to our residents, essentially an ongoing picture of how things are going in town. It measures our performance in four general categories. Fiscal stability, economic strength, public safety, and quality of life. In each category, the picture is bright. Our bond rating is AA with stable outlook, according to Fresh Rating Services. Our financial audits have been exemplary. Both violent and property crimes are down, and the quality of life in Berkeley continues to be exceptional. I would like to thank Berkeley City employees for the hard work that produced these results. We owe our greatest debt of gratitude to the service men and women at home and abroad who soldier under our flag. Our city has been touched by the loss of two soldiers in two succeeding years who played honor roles in our annual Cruise Fest parade. We recall today their names, Sergeant Matt Leach and Specialist Alex Knapp. Though they died in war, may they be in eternal peace. In the days ahead, please take a moment to thank soldiers that you know for their sacrifice and their service to our country. Woodward Avenue is a national treasure that is experiencing transformation. Several groups led by the Woodward Avenue Action Association have been actively and collaboratively working with the 11 cities that border Woodward Avenue. The 27 miles between Detroit and Pontiac are being transformed physically and functionally to meet the needs of future generations. Three major components of that transformation are currently on the way. And in time, these will become household expressions. First, the Complete Streets Project that seeks to transform Woodward from the river to Pontiac into a complete, compatible, and integrated roadway for all modes of transportation. The second component is the Rapid Transit Alternative Analysis Project, commissioned to explore the best options for providing safe, reliable transit along the Woodward Corridor. The outcome of this process should include improved access to employment, education, and shopping opportunities, improved regional mobility, and economic development in the form of jobs and private investments along the corridor. The third component is called the transit-oriented design for private and public development. Their goal is to facilitate the orderly planning for future development as new transit systems are introduced with the intention of attracting new residents and new businesses. These projects are separate undertakings, but they are interrelated. These largely volunteer efforts are supported by state and federal dollars, although some businesses are beginning to make sizable donations to express their support for this general effort. Now, Berkeley is well represented in each of these projects. I am thankful for the contribution of members of City Council, members of the Planning Commission, members of the Environmental Committee, and our City Administration. This regional undertaking is enriched by their council. Our challenge going forward 
is to blend our multimodal transportation plan with emerging developments along Woodward Avenue so that our residents are well served. We stand today at an interesting point in history. Significant value-driven changes are emerging across the generations. Growing sensitivity to protecting the environment is causing lifestyle modifications. The era of unbridled consumerism is likely to soften and be replaced with healthier, simpler, and environmentally friendlier choices. Such social changes create uneasy challenges as they evolve. Enshrined thinking patterns do not yield easily to new thoughts. It is our challenge as community leaders to understand this paradigm shift and ultimately help design how it unfolds. Even amid the challenges of revenue constraints, opportunities abound. We must be creative and collaborative, managing our affairs wisely while coming to the table with other communities eager to explore what is possible. We must learn new ways to deliver needed services and join hands with our school district, which has the crucial task of educating our children. The Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw once noted, some men see things that are and say why, but I dream dreams of things that never were and say why not. In the years ahead, the task will be to balance our existing needs with the dreams and possibilities that are evolving in our city and throughout this region. The city of Berkeley is ready for this challenge. Its finances are solid. Its management and employees are dedicated. And its people care. Thank you very much. Thank you.